Hello, John Hall here from Right Here Pens with another pen review. And we're going to be looking at a Twisby, who, as we know, make the very best budget piston filling pens on the market. Well, this one isn't. So let's go down and have a look and see what it is. Excuse me while I move the camera around. There we go. Panoramic view. The Mark Conservatory, how nice. But what we're more interested in is what's going on at the table. So we'll do a quick unboxing. It probably won't be quick because I tend to be a bit cat handed with this sort of thing. So it is, as we can see, a Twisby. And it's broad and it might be orange. Actually, no, oh, it's a swipe. There we go. And what we've got in it is one swipe fountain pen, one spring converter. Well, let's hope it works all year. And one ink cartridge. So it's a nifty little package, which I really like, actually. Very good presentation. So let's see what happens. We take this out here. Because it's Twisby, we know, as sure as our Redeemer liveth, that there are all sorts of little stickers to stop it inadvertently springing open. And there's another one here. There we go. And let's see what we've got. Well, here we are. We have a rather nice looking pen. There we go. So, um, again, we'll take it out with its plastic. And it's orange. And there's another one that's called Pear Green. I've probably got some oranges and apples that I could use as props, but I'm not going to. There's one called Prussian Blue. Um, I haven't got any Prussians either. And there's a black one. So, here we are. Um, what do we see on the outside? Well, it's plastic, obviously. Um, it looks budgety, it must be said. The clip, fairly firm. Again, is it plastic? Yes, I think it probably is, actually. Um, but actually quite a nice design, quite classic design, I suppose. I don't know whether classic's quite the right word, but there we go. Let's take a look inside. This one, as we remember, is a broad nib, so we've got, whoa. Let's try this. Here we are. So we've got our Twisby nib. And I'm pretty certain it's the same nib as you get on the Echo. And this is a very nice nib. Now I can guarantee that because I've actually been using one of these for several months now. Um, it's actually an extra fine version I've been using. And it's so convenient and it writes so nicely. Um, I just tend to pick it up and use it. Leave it on the desk and more expensive pens. Um, tend to get overlooked, partly because they're more expensive and it seems wrong to use an expensive pen to do a trivial job like signing checks or writing your will or something like that. But anyway, yeah, so here we are. Now, the spring converter. Let's have a look. So we undo down here. This is the spring converter and what you do is press it down like that and you don't have to screw it up and down oh that takes so long doesn't it such a nuisance job but the spring converter does the job for you really and it's obviously based on the go pen that they did a few months ago or possibly last year or possibly two or three years ago I can't quite remember to be honest but there we go. So it's got this really nifty little filling system. And if you don't like that, this just pulls out and you can insert a cartridge. So there's a cartridge here. And what's this? Actually, I'm not quite sure what that is. Let me dig this out and see whether we can fathom it. It's a spare spring. 
Oh, it's to make sure that the cartridge is held in and engaged properly. There we go. Okay. So, here we are. Oh, here we are. Optional use with cartridge. Not needed during normal use. The normal use is obviously when you're using the spring converter. Right. Okay. So, so far so good. If you decide that you like cartridges, you can buy them in this really nifty little package. Let's see how easy it is to open. Oh. Ah. Almost impossible, actually. I wonder why that is. <laughs> is that coming out or is that going in? Anyway, you've got a nice little pack of cartridges. I shall fiddle with this. It is quite awkward. Strange enough, I opened it yesterday having fiddled about for ages and it was no trouble at all. But I haven't got the plastic on it. No, what was holding me up then was that there were plastic bits on either side of it. Um, but anyway, yes, the cartridges come in red, blue and black and you can get into them honest. There's a bit of stage from it going on here, I think. No. Ah, so near and yet so far. I might give up on that. What a shame. But I did want to show you how the spring converter works. Now, here we are. Um, reassemble that later. Here we have a bottle of excellent high quality Aurora ink, nothing but the best for my pens. And here we have the aforementioned pen that I have been using for quite some time with great pleasure. Now this one, as I think I mentioned, has an extra fine nib. And uh, extra fine nibs, as we know, can be quite scratchy, um, can be less than enjoyable to use if they're not absolutely right and this one well I've been using it for a couple of months and I've been using it quite a lot so to fill the pen pop it in your ink oh, there we are. satisfying bubbling noises there release that and there we go a decent fill of ink we can give it another go So that's a decent fill. And done in a trice. A quick clean up around here. And what we'll do then, just to prove this does all the things a pen ought to do, is give it a bit of a writing test. So just to recap, while I put the lid on the ink, as you can see this morning has not gone all that brilliantly, but there we are, not to worry. Um, move some of this stuff out of the way. I will have, oh, wait a bit. One thing I have forgotten to mention. If you find the prospect of a spring converter terrifying, you can also purchase a conventional converter. And as you can see, it's, yeah, it's a good big one. Now they say these are compatible with the standard cartridge, the international standard. I'm not entirely convinced about that. So, I mean, basically, you pays your money, you take your choice there. If you want to try that, go for it. So, what we're we going to do now, we're going to write something. So, your twisty swipe in black. And it's extra fine. Also available as fine, medium, broad, and 1.1 stub. Surprisingly smooth. Astonishingly, convenient, 
Knights numbers two. And it would probably draw if I could, but I can't. So I'm not going to impose that on you. So here we go. We have a really, really nifty little pen, which for a few weeks, and I shall date stamp this to August 2022. We've got an order on offer for a few weeks, but actually the full cost is pretty ridiculously low. I mean, last time I looked, we were selling at £22.50 full price um what with going what, what's going on in the world at the moment i would be quite astonished if they don't go up in price the echo has recently gone up to um to 32 pounds from 27 28 something like that so i mean commodity prices steel prices are a bit of a disaster at the moment and i'm just so fed up with this because it did, I mean, honestly, it does open. I'm trying to see something. I'm just going to go and get something to try and open it. Don't go away. Right, I'm back. Do apologise. Will this do the trick? I don't know. Let's have a look. My technique complete. Oh, hey, there we go. Well, I'm glad that, that, that was probably a bit frightening. Apologies to those of you who are in this disposition. I just did want to show you this because Sage is a really neat pack of cartridges. Um, they're a reasonable price. Um, a nice little box that you could probably use to store inferior cartridges. These ones are obviously red. But as I say, Blue and black are also available. So, to recap, it's a nice pen. What should we do? Let's write this down. Nice pen. Inexpensive. It's versatile. I think it's fun actually. Well, I think that's all we need to say, really. Oh, apart from spring converter, conventional converter, and finally, cartridge. What else could we say? Well, not a lot really. Prussian blue. Black. Pen green. Orange. There we go. So a really nice little pen. I rate this very highly indeed. I think people should rate it very highly. Um, as I say, on as I said on the website, you can buy all of them and probably get for not much over £100 at the moment. So you could have five different nibs, you could mix and match the filling systems, different ink in each one. And I don't think you would be disappointed with any one of them. A lovely pen, the Twisby Swipe.